Hello, this is Brother Boyd London in Idaho. God bless you all. I love you all, and I'm praying for you all. I just wanted to call in and say a prayer right now for God to help us all. Uh, we need a lot of help here. Uh, we've been busy working on the stuff today and tonight to send all that evidence in tomorrow to the uh, Department of Homeland Security for those visas for Edna and Isabel to be able to come over here from the Philippines. And uh, I'm just... Uh, trying to have faith and just believing that God can help us put those through because I really would like Edna and Isabel to come over here and be involved in our ministries here. A lot of you know Edna. Uh, she's been involved in the chat room on the program. She's been involved with the prayer groups on Facebook, praying for people, posting prayer requests. She's uh, gone door knocking, evangelizing over in the Philippines. She's uh, served and helped churches and fed needy people. She's done a lot of different things. And Isabel can get up there and just sing and just uh, melt people's hearts to turn their lives over to Jesus. She can sing solo songs all by herself. She's such an amazing, talented young lady, Isabel. She's only 15, and she gets straight A's in school, and uh, she's only she's in a special school. She gets scholarships and stuff there. She's just amazing uh, what Isabel can do for God. I just want to say a prayer right now for us all. Father, I love you with all my heart, mind, and soul. I want to come to you in prayer in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for Jesus dying on the cross for our sins and shedding his blood so that our sins can be forgiven, so that our diseases can be healed, so that we can be set free from sicknesses and sins and diseases. It says right here in Luke 18, 27, But he said that things which are impossible with men are possible with God. And I just thank you, Father, so much that nothing's impossible with you. It says in Ephesians 3.20 that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above anything we ask, think, or imagine. You can do more than anything we ask, think, or imagine, and nothing is impossible with you. And I want you, Father, just to build our faith that nothing is impossible with you. We must walk by faith. It says in Hebrews 11.6 that we have to have faith to believe you, to please you. You want us to may, know that we're going to have things that haven't happened yet. They are going to become reality, whether it be healing from sicknesses or I'm praying for these visas to come through or whatever we're doing. We need to have faith, Father, and believe that you can do the impossible and know that. And then those things happen in our lives. And I'm just praying right now and asking for you to work in all of our lives and help us with us with the visas, getting those visas to go through. I'm asking you to help any of our families, any of us that needs help for you to heal us of any sicknesses and ailments and give us strength as we face challenges in life. And I'm just believing and helping, believing and knowing that you're helping anyone hearing this prayer with whatever they need help with. I thank you so much, Father. I pray this prayer in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. With no place to call my home But there's one who holds my hand The rugged road through bed
inside my mind. He comforts me and bids me live inside the love the Father gives. In your our lives and let us be a living prayer to thee my god how good is god it's undescribable my friends thank you brother boyd for calling in we will continue to pray for you and your family and that visa situation believing that all things is possible with god asking that the dear heavenly father would send forth his anointing upon those workers that they would find favor in your case and that it would be uh, swiftly decided upon for god's will to be done it is in the name of jesus we pray as we stand upon the promises of god and the word of god knowing that the victory is ours if we'll believe and doubt not in our heart and we say to that mountain be thou removed and cast into the sea it will obey my friends god is not dead he's alive and he lives forevermore amen and he is active in the lives of his children my god god's good i'm telling you and it just keeps getting gooder and gooder as we're living in the end times and uh, tonight today every day of our lives we need to make the devil matter than hell is hot yes you need to walk in obedience to god and if you do that my friends you're going to make the world mad at you listen what they've done unto the disciples and the apostles and jesus our precious lord and savior himself they'll do unto you if you stand and proclaim the gospel i'm talking about they're going to try to kill us do you hear me they may even kill a few of us do you hear me but you got to be ready. Are you sold out to Jesus? See, that's that's what's going to count in the end. Are you sold out to Jesus? Amen. All right. I see we're about to, we've got like nine minutes left on the other program that we're broadcasting out on, on the uh, mix, mix side. It's a mix board that we're trying to share over on Facebook, making it a little more convenient for some of the listeners that can't download the speaker app or whatever. Uh, we're just trying to use the tool to help us get the Word of God out to a lost and dying world. So we ask you to share that with your friends and family. Uh, I think when it, it, we do an hour at a time on that. And if it works out, we're going to upgrade it. And then we can go to Unlimited where we can do the whole program. Uh, at the same time, we'll be broadcasting on two different servers. So interesting. All things is possible with God. Amen. But... Um, I want you to know if you're listening tonight to the Gospel Music Jukebox and you do not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, well, right now, right there where you're at, this is your moment. It's your hour. It's decision time. What are you going to do with Jesus? You see, if you reject him, you're condemned already. But if you'll go to him with a broken heart and a contrite spirit, my friend, if you'll cast your cares upon him, for he cares for you, if you'll reach out right now and take a hold of that unchanging hand, it don't matter if you're, listen, he knows more about you than you know about yourself. You may be filled with drugs and alcohol right now. You may be the one that's trying to, uh, aggravate me here on the program that's trying to hack my facebook page and that's uh stop by the studio but there's hope for you and his name is jesus christ you may be one living in a homosexual or lesbian lifestyle there's hope for you you may be one that is spreading rumors and lies there is hope for you you may be a 
uh, one calling yourself a brother or sister of mine, but yet you're mad at me. There's hope for you, you see, and his name is Jesus Christ. You may be one that is jealous tonight. You may have a jealous spirit about you. There is hope. There is deliverance, and his name is Jesus Christ. All you have to do is to turn and repent. Turn from your wickedness of this world. You must cast your cares upon him. Listen to me. You've got to take a bath in the blood or you ain't going. You must be born again or you will in no wise see the kingdom of heaven, my friend. This is real. This is war. And they are souls hanging in the balance. Uh, you men and women that say you're called of God but won't get up and fellowship with nobody. You won't get up and go do nothing for the kingdom of God. You selfish, slothful servants. Listen to me, you will be bound hand and foot and cast into outer darkness, lest you repent and do thy first works over, lest you begin to get on fire for God, deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow after Jesus. You're believing a lie of the devil if you think you can sit and do nothing, do nothing in these end days. Makes me want to vomit when people say, well, you know, I see so-and-so. Boy, look at that. His car's broke down. We better pray for him. Well, if you're close enough to see it and you didn't go over and see if you could be a help. <laughs> well, glory. I'm about to get plumb beside myself. You didn't walk over there and see if you had could be a blessing and make a difference in their life. You Maybe your spare tire would fit their tire. You didn't get involved. How dwelleth the love of God in you if you shut up your bowels of compassion? Now I'm talking to you. Now I'm up in your face. The truth is going to stand when the world's on fire. I'm, it makes me want to puke that everybody running around hollering they're, they're Christians and living like hell uh, won't even fellowship with one another. They they drive by. People broke down every day. They won't stop and help them. They're too uh, scared. You see, you ain't got the same God I got because my Heavenly Father, He didn't give me the spirit of fear. I fear no man. Do you hear me? tonight. I fear no man. I fear God who can destroy both body and soul in the lake of fire, my friend. The truth, the truth, the truth shall set you free. You must reach out and take a hold of that unchanging hand. You can't do this your way. Your way will lead you to hell. You've done and tried the drugs, the alcohol. You've done and tried to stay at home and do nothing. You know that burn inside of your heart. You know that God, if listen to me, if God's called you, listen to me in the name of Jesus. If God's called you and you're chose by God, God, you can't get away. You can't escape. You can't hide. There's no repentance on a calling, my friend. So now apostles, pastors, preachers, teachers, prophetess, get up. Get up. Get up and out and be busy. Be busy in the body of Christ. Be busy for the kingdom of God. There's souls hanging in the balance. There's people watching you and how you react. You say you got God. Well, show me some God in you. I, I got a show me attitude. You say you got God. I say let me see God in you. I say go and preach the gospel and when necessary use words. I say get up, get out and love the hell right out of your neighbor. I say get up and get out and love the hell right out of your enemy. In Jesus' name, I speak to you with a boldness such as I ought to. We ain't got time to dilly-dally around, man. We ain't got time to lay down. This very hour, this very moment, somebody's taking their last breath. Are they in your community? Will their blood be required on your hands? Look around your life, the people that you know that needs help. Are you helping them? You so-called men and women of God? Are you denying yourself? Oh, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be comfortable. It's not going to be at your convenience. It might be at 3 o'clock in the morning. The Lord may tell you to get up and get out. Go down the road and pray for somebody. Take them a gallon of milk. Take them a loaf of light bread. Show up on an old gospel radio program and pray for them. And pray for those prayer requests that come in. And pray for those men and women that are trying their best to share the gospel. To a lost and dying world. But I know you don't like the evangelist, Brother Eddie Cheney, so, you know, you got to stay separated from him. Or maybe you don't like Brother Willie. I'd rather they don't like you, brother, than me. Well, maybe you don't like Sister Rachel. I don't know. Since she's changed her hair color, maybe she, she looks different to you, and maybe you're afraid of her. Maybe you don't like, I don't know, maybe you don't like Brother Boyd because he gets straight to the point and preaches the Word of God. So you don't want to come into the chat room. You